as Dylan Friend tries to be a good friend to Jared Fawn and get on base. Now in dirt and Brett Fawn will take off and he'll go to second. So an interesting beginning to the bottom of the eighth here as it's a five ball inning for Camp Seidel. And just glancing over to the bullpen of the Stephen Point Pointers, you can see that it looks like they've got some activity moving on. Looks like they might be getting their closer ready for the uh, ninth inning. Be nice for the walks to get Seidel out of the inning because he's rattled this lineup. And the pitch. That's a ball. 2 and 0. Oh. Two oh count, no one out, runner at second. Seidel's pitch. Foul, two and one. Michael Pierce on deck. So Warks looks to pierce the heart to the pointers late. Pierce with a thorn. And the pitch. That's a ball, three and one. Warhawks being really patient in this inning. Mm, showing a lot of patience. He's gotta hope it works out. Mm -hmm. Three and one pitch. And that one. That one is gone for Dylan Friend. And the Warhawks are finally on the board, so patience pays off for John Volnich's squad there as Dylan Friend knocks one out of here. Friend gets his sixth home run of the year, which is leading the club as we speak. He had speak. eight last year. So getting close to breaking that mark from last year. So right now, Flood back on the mound for the UW Stevens Point Pointers. He's been out there for a while. It's a as a song, any way you want it, plays. You know, well, it's just right. Both teams right now just want to win it any way they want, any way they can. Uh -huh. Alluding to the song. You got so you gotta want it. It's Steve Chamberlain coming up to bat. It's a freshman. Leading off the freshman bottom of the third. Infielder 13th. out of Rockford, Illinois, Gil Gilfort. He's appeared in six games and has not had a hit yet. That's in there for a ball. One oh count. Be quite the spot to get your first hit in. Yet alone your first home run. Mm-hmm. That one in for ball two, so 2-0 two -oh count. See the first baseman try to shield the sun from his eyes. And the pitch from Flood. That one foul, so we're count will go to two and one. And the pitch to Chamberlain. That ball. Going to the wall. Chamberlain the second for this first hit. Rounded right second, going to third. With his first hit of the season. And now it's the go ahead run in the 13th inning. So I probably just over modulated my mic there. <laughs> But it runner at third, excitement. nobody out. What a spot for a freshman to step up in. Probably imagine John Volish in that dugout with the team as they're probably going ecstatic for that young freshman, Steve Chamberlain. And here we go. <coughs> no one out. If your point here, do you intentionally walk the guy to you set know. up the double play? 
It's a possibility. Or do you play in, walk the guy, walk him, get the double play, throw home first, and then get the out of first? What do you think? You know, your guess, your guess is as good as mine at this point. Sometimes these coaches just completely shock everyone with what they do. So Warhawks trying to steal one right now away from the Pointers after trailing four nothing in the game. So they might go squeeze play here. Might happen. A walk off squeeze play could end this game. Remember, uh, one and zero. Oh. Mike Miro at the plate. Does he show a butt on that first pitch? Flood, the runner is, and that one, fly out. Chamberlain will tag, will stop. So it'll be one out now. Runner at third. And I believe, I believe it's gonna be Adam Gregory with his second at bat, because I know they subbed out Kuhlman. It is Gregory, yep. And He's 0 for 2 on the day. Lefty up. The bat, and Adam Gregory. Tyler, Tyler Flood on the mound. Runner third, one out. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Owen, Owen won the count. If you tire a flood, you want to strike out here to make it two out. You don't want to allow that run to score. If the Warhawks, you want to base it, it's anything they can score them. Ball in the dirt. Good block by the catcher. One and one. If the catcher lets anything get behind him, this game might be over. We're one moment from a fat lady sitting. Exactly. No offense to anyone who may be watching. <laughs> and the pitch. That's grounded. Might, I believe that was foul. Uh -huh. One and two. So flood is a strike away from two outs or a strike away or hit away from losing this game. That's absolutely incredible how this game has turned out. Mm -hmm. Warhawks were down four by the fifth inning. Three in the eighth, one in the one in the ninth. Tied it. Let's go to the extras. We're in extra innings right now in the thirteenth. Flood the pitch. Fouled off. One and two. And uh, Gregory's doing a good job of sticking in there with the pitcher here. One out in the inning. Runner at third. Flood the pitch. And that's a base hit, Warhawks win. Walk off hit by Adam Gregory. What a comeback today. Warhawks win it five to four. As you can see, the, the mob. Gregory and the Warhawks win tonight. An exciting finish. You know, really, really a test of the heart of the team for sticking in as long as they did. You know, they uh, battled adversity all game long, came back, were able to pull this one out in uh, 13 innings. All around fun game to, to be at, you know. One game to broadcast, too. Exactly, exactly. You got some free baseball today. A little bit of everything today. So would you say Adam Gregory is the MVP of this game getting the walk-off hit? I think you have to. And you go back, What the turning point in this game is clearly that eighth inning. Uh-huh. When they're down four going in the inning, they get some runs on base. Friend hits the key homer to, get put, to cut it down to two. They cut it down to one later in that inning, and the Warhawks tied in the ninth. Mm -hmm. So that's clearly the turning point, if anything, for this game. But in the end, the Warhawks get the W and win, and 
win both games and to play tomorrow against this team again so they could go up three games on point. So the Warhawks get their 20th win in the season. I am Daniel Schaller and alongside Brandon Lindholm. Alongside Brandon Lindholm. Thank you for watching.